valgus knee deformity. When the knee is not perfectly aligned from side to side, either a valgus or a varus malalignment may occur. You can see a patient here with a valgus alignment deformity. In valgus, the load-bearing axis of the leg will shift towards the outside. A valgus knee or a knock knee is commonly caused by arthritis of the knee and the patient cannot make their feet touch each other. Various alignment causes inward angulation and stress on the medial part of the knee. The feet will touch each other but the knee will be apart from each other. Various knee deformity is usually called bow leg. Severe valgus deformity places a stress on the articular cartilage, the bone, the ligaments of the knee joint and causes progression of the knee arthritis. Here is an example of x-rays that show severe valgus deformity of the knee. Sunrise views showing the patellar tilt. Valgus knee deformities have its own intrinsic complications. If you correct the valgus knee deformity, the patella may sublux laterally. Often, correction of the deformity can tether or stretch the perineal nerve. The valgus deformity is unicompartmental, treated by distal femoral osteotomy and corrected axis to neutron. If tricompartmental arthritis with moderate valgus deformity, by a total knee replacement. In these cases, the knee replacement may need lateral release for patellar subluxation and we have to be careful about the perineal nerve. If perineal nerve palsy develops postoperatively, remove all the constrictive dressings and flex the knee. If the arthritis is tricompartmental with severe valgus deformity, treat by osteotomy of the femur and a total knee replacement and this is a very difficult problem. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.